Hello everybody, my name is Retromation, welcome to another Enter the Gungeon tier list. Why would you even care about my tier list? I don't know, but a lot of people have asked me to make one because I have an over a thousand episode uh, series on Enter the Gungeon. I played over a thousand two hundred hours. People have asked for this a lot. We've done one on guns, we've done one on uh, the items, and now we're going to do a much shorter, easier one on the bosses. We'll probably do another one on characters, and then we're going to probably be done with the tier list for now. But, uh, yeah, here we go. We're going to rank it from hardest to easiest. I got them in order from uh, the floor you will find them on, and then we have kind of like the weird... We got the past ones, and then block there. Kind of some more unique ones. I'll say right now, Advanced Dragon doesn't seem to be on the list, but I'll tell you, he... He's the stinkiest. If we, like, if we had, <laughs> like, for where you fight him in the game, he's the stinkiest. He's way harder than the Lich is, that's for sure. Uh, just his absolute chaotic attacks. He's just, uh, honestly, he's way harder than the Lich, and I wouldn't fault you if you just wanted to fight that, that, that boss and then end the game, because, like, if you beat him, you can beat the Lich. Basically, basically always, he's just way harder. Uh, but anyway, we'll start with the, uh, the four one bosses here. Oh man, we got stinky, stinkiest, hard, okay, easy, extremely easy. I mean, I'm gonna try to, like, obviously you would think it'd just go one, floor one bosses, floor two boss, floor three, floor four, four, five. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more, like, creative with it and try to do, um, I mean, obviously that's not even also the case, but I'm gonna try to do how hard they are compared to how equipped you probably will be when you fight them. Because. Often the time you get to, you know, you get the wallmonger or something, the kill pillars, you're pretty darn equipped. So it's like, I don't know. All right. First, we got the trigger twins. Honestly, I find them to be, you know, they're, they're the they're first floor boss. Truthfully, I find them to be extremely easy. <laughs> I mean, I, it could just be down to the fact that they are one of the, like being a first floor boss, they're one of the ones that I've fought the most. I've of all first floor bosses uh, i think that there is none that i flub less <laughs> like i've flubbed i've flubbed the gatling gull so i almost think he should be like at the bottom of easy i've flubbed the gatling gull from time to time he's got like uh, slightly more rng with them than the trigger twins you generally know what they're going to be doing they split apart yes they do summon annoying ads Kill the ads, circle the room from the outside, easy, freaking peasy. There, I think they're, I think they're probably one of the easier bosses in the game. Uh, then we got the Gatling gun, and obviously, unless you're Rhapsody and you're doing it with the uh, the pilot starter pistol, then that's a different story. But we're not talking starter pistol. You'll probably have a gun if you do it with pilot starter pistol. Maybe you'll have a harder time with this. That like maybe in that situation, the Gatling gun would be easier. Other than that, I'd say that they're the easiest first floor boss. Uh, and then after that, yeah, we got the Bullet King. I find him to be also pretty easy. Generally, I do save up one blank to use, and the, I guess you could argue that maybe that would make them harder than the Trigger Twins because often you can you can circle the tr uh, the the Bullet King. You can actually bring him to the top wall. He'll use his shot that the large bullet that hits the wall and breaks apart. If you bring him up to the top wall, that bullet will break the wall. It'll fizzle out. You can pretty much cheese this boss pretty darn easy. He's another one of the more pattern-based bosses. You can, I'll probably talk about it. There's pattern-based bosses, and then there's bosses that have slightly more RNG. Due to the fact of, like, you know, just fighting the bosses and just repeating them, getting more used to them, pattern-based bosses will generally get easier over time. The Bullet King, I think that as a new player, might be one of the harder ones, but as you play more, I think he becomes quite a bit easier. Blobby Lord. Um... I guess he's harder than the Gatling Gull. I mean, maybe I maybe I could move him to okay. We might shift this around in a little bit here. But truthfully, I think that uh, he's not too bad. He's got a couple attacks that are a little a little rougher. Like he brings more to the table than the other first floor bosses. I I might bump him up a little bit. I think he's I still think he's pretty easy. He might be on the bottom of okay though. Uh, in fact, like no, we'll leave him there. Okay, let's do this in a different order because everyone wants Gun Snake bad. I am going to go on the record and say that the Gorgon is probably the easiest boss in the game. Especially, like, I think the Gorgon could be a first floor boss. And by the time you fight the Gorgon, you're going to have another floor's worth of equipment. So, 
I it I think the Gorgon's probably the easiest boss in the entire game, and I don't think there's tons of people out there who are gonna disagree with that. Uh, <laughs> if I'm gonna be real, uh, she's just pretty predictable. She's once again she is a pattern-based boss, so she's not too bad right away. I think like as far as I think most new players would consider her one of the easier bosses on the floor, anyways. And since she's more of a pattern-based boss. Uh, where she pattern based boss being like they're more likely to generally do the same thing regardless of if you're there or not like they'll track the player a little bit with their movement but they're generally doing the same patterns that's pretty much pretty much her uh, she just gets easier over time she already wasn't that hard to begin with the holster he here's the thing the holster if you get if you have bad damage he can overwhelm you to a point where He's like, I, I, I think he might be at the top of these. He may be the bottom of okay. Uh, he can overwhelm you. He summons adds. He summons rockets. Uh, where I find that, I guess, maybe for, I would imagine, for newer players, him doing the beam move while trying to dodge the shots from the adds can be a little bit rough. So I would imagine be about right here. Maybe, I don't know. These might be interchangeable. I think he's not too bad. Uh... We're probably going to need to move some up because I'm looking at like some of these other bosses and I also think they're pretty easy to be honest. So I think maybe we'll uh, let's let's do this for a second. Let's do that for a second. <laughs> we have to compare them against each other. Uh, Ammo, Akanda. I don't think he's as bad as other people say, but he's definitely in the hard tier compared to where you fight him as a second floor boss. He is a little bit rougher due to the fact he has, you know, he summons adds. He has the ability to regenerate HP. He moves around a little sporadically. And more importantly, there's some pretty much, there's some more RNG in the in the shot spread compared to other uh, other bosses. Uh, you know, everyone's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a meme. Gunsnake bad. Gunsnake is, you know, Gunsnake's pretty hard for the second floor. If Gunsnake was, uh... A third floor boss or a fourth floor boss, Gunsnake would be a joke because you could just kill it the ads quicker. Like that here's here's my only problem with the with Amoconda. E everyone has their, their thoughts with the Amoconda. This is my only problem with the Amoconda. The fact that the Amoconda heals by eating ads is like generally I don't like it as a game mechanic in bosses anyways. But the issue is just that the adds have so much HP that it doesn't really make sense to kill them. So it feels like it's weird to have it even there as a strategy. So I almost feel like, hell, like, su sue me. You could, uh, you could increase the HP of the Amoconda a little bit if you just decreased the HP pool of the adds that he summons. I know, sue me. I think that that's really, that's the biggest problem. It's like, it, it in introduces a mechanic that has counterplay that is doesn't make sense to utilize it's like why kill the ads it's just it they take too much hp uh old king i guess like for where it is i guess he's gotta be up there for stinkiest you're just not very well equipped by this point uh because you, you fight i mean you will have cleared the first floor the oubliette the second floor and then you will have cleared, you know, it's it's the equivalent of a base game fourth floor boss, I guess, for a, equipment that you would have. Um, but all in all, yeah, he's just, you know, he's scarier Bullet King. I don't know. He might be here. But, like, if he's not here, then I don't know who I'm going to put in the stinkiest tier. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at here. Uh, Treadnought used to, used to be, like, right here, to be honest, but they changed the Treadnought. Now I think he's probably, like, he's pretty easy. But, you know, I flub him. I flub him. He, I might move him to the bottom of the hard tier. But, there's, a uh, as far as bosses that I flub, go, like, and by flub, I mean, don't get a flawless on. I, I feel like I, I get the hit with the cannon balrogs shot more often i feel like he he puts out some some messy attacks and a lot of times the rough situations in bosses are just like the overlap of two attacks that just didn't play very well together and the cannon balrog kind of does that uh sometimes the trajectory of the bouncing balls that he uses when he gets invisible can be a little bit messy all in all like yeah 
he's a i guess he's hard like if, if we have to compare it like if we have to compare them obje objectively against each other i would say yeah that's about it right there um all right let's see mm, truthfully it's not a, it's a, it's one of the easy i think it's an easier boss than than others the issue with this boss is literally just that he has a bonkers hp pool truly has a bonkers hp pool uh he's on the same floor as these here added in the supply drop update way back when i think he's i think he's okay he might be on the he might be the worst one on the okay tier to be honest um I just realized that I would almost want to separate the rat into two segments, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if the goal is perfecting, I think that, yeah, he's 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 slightly hard. I'd say he's about, he's okay. He's okay, though. Uh, just because his, his health pool is so big, it just makes it so there's more time where you could have a mistake. Oh, uh, the rat, the rat, the stinking rat. I mean... This combines both phases of the rat, and I would argue punch out. That being said, okay, how much equipment would you have at this point? You'd have the first floor, Oubliette, I mean, potentially, potentially first floor, Oubliette, second floor, uh, Abby the True Gun, potentially the third floor's equipment as well. That's five floors of equipment. That being said, the fact that they've got him combined, he has two bosses. He's two bosses. He's got to be <laughs> harder, you know? Like, But the thing is, if you factor in the fact that you get four full health, or full, four heart upgrades, heart pickups, rather, before you do the fight, a full ammo crate and a half ammo crate, if you can factor that in, it's almost like right here. And beating him, like, I almost have to, I almost have to dock him points just because, um... He, he, like, cushions you so much. You get, yeah, two full hearts, so four HP before the fight, and enough HP to get the full after the fight. Basically, it, it and there's no, no reward for perfecting him anyway, so it's almost like the perfect criteria is, is like, four HP. So I'm almost like, that's my reasoning right there, but I... I I think he's gonna be right there, just but under the fact that uh, he's got so much cushioning. He's just like, he's really, really cushy. Uh, weirdness time here. I gotta say, the fourth floor, really, uh, they bungled it up <laughs> with how hard they are, I think. I, I find them to be compared to where you are in the run, especially since you could have five, you could potentially have five floors and the rat rat equipment by the time you get here um but even if you don't like a lot of my runs i'll do the base run and maybe the rat floor or the oubliette in the rat floor even on those i find these bosses are uh, are pretty darn easy which one is easier is the thing i'd say i would go as far as to say and these are wallmonger is the epitome of a pattern based boss he will do the exact same thing whether or not you are there. So, while he may be up here when you're starting, he will slowly, the more you play... I mean, like, yes, I know this is the case with every boss, but, like, the more you play, he'll plummet. He'll plummet. Because he does not do anything reactive. Uh, he just moves slow. I honestly, I think he's... I think he's pretty easy. But, like, seeing this stuff... Like, compared to where he is in the game, I think he's pretty easy. But, like, I hate seeing these above here, so I'm almost thinking of changing it. That being said, High Priest, so annoying. So annoying. I really hate this. This... I, To be honest, compared to where they are in the game, compared to the fact that you, you know, Flawless is on the line, it's a normal boss, there's no, uh, there's no cushiness... It's pretty dang annoying. Like this boss, I, I just I don't have I don't have a lot of fun though. It's it's a lot of uh, there's more of that RNG factor, more of the bullet spread effect. It is a reactive boss, so while it does get easier the more you play, it's you know it's still it's still pretty dang tough. 
Uh, there is some room layouts with this boss that have pillars, and those make it easier because they, when he goes invisible, you have stuff to hide behind a lot easier, but still. Dorlord, of the same mind, except it's so rare. I almost feel like it's hard to judge it because... It's hard to judge this boss because I never really fight them. But I think that they are tougher... I feel like they're about right there. I don't know. I, let me... If, if the goal is perfecting, I'd say they're about right there. Maybe. Maybe there. Hmm. Aghanim. Aghanim is very, uh... Very high priest to me. I almost feel like... Doing this and bringing him down, though. I don't know. Like, I did. You know what? There. <laughs> I feel better with that. There. I, I like this a lot better. <laughs> Extremely easy, easy, okay, less okay, and stinkiest. That's my new classification. Um, and we got, let's see. The dragon? Honestly, I find the dragon really not bad. Um. Uh, Really not that bad. He's okay. Pretty darn pattern based. There's times where I'll flub. If you bring blanks in, it's pretty darn easy though. Uh, and honestly, the Lich. If the goal is perfect, thing. It, this is another one where it's like it's so. It's almost stupid to have him ranked as one boss, but he is three bosses. If I was just ranking the first phase, the first phase of him is probably like about right here. The second phase is probably about, like, right here. The third phase is a probably in the same general area. But the fact of the matter is, it's not that... I, like, it's not that bad as you play more and more. Uh, it's a boss that you have to think about. You see it, you, if you played a lot, you see this boss every run, so you have more time practicing this boss. So it is... It's easier. I think that... The fact that the, of the matter is, he's three bosses, though. He's three bosses. Does this look good? That feels kind of... That, that feels better. That feels better. That feels a lot better. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, Old King is just very much like, wait. I, and it could just be because I haven't fought him. Like, he's probably... And this is three bosses. I need to reiterate. This is three bosses. It's not that... It's not that any of the phases are that hard. He's just three bosses. So it's like, he's he's the stinkiest, I guess. But I, I don't find him... I really don't find him to be too bad anymore. Uh, the more he plays. You, know, you, see, you can see him every run. Let's see... All right, now this is gonna be weird. Where do I put these suckers? Uh, okay, this is the first, and I guess the first and second phase of Bullet's Past. This is the one where he's on the ground, and he, uh, there, wait. No, this is the one where, yeah, he has a phase where he's on the ground, he shoots lasers at you that arc at you, kind of like the, you know, like the, uh, the Shadow Magician. And then he's also got the one where you got to hit the ball back. Um. I guess, like, and, and the thing is, these are all finite, you know? You got three HP. Like, if the goal is, like, uh, how hard are they to beat, it's not that bad. But I guess if it's, like, how hard to perfect, I guess it's a different story. Uh, I'll say that this is probably... I have more issues with it at, at, right about there. Um, and truthfully, like... This boss has got that weird, like, punch-out syndrome where it's, it's, you're basically not playing the same game. You have to hit with your sword. You're not really playing the same game, so you don't feel very comfortable with it. Uh, it's about right there, to be honest. But, like, if the goal is to win, I would put all of these in 
I mean, no no shame to, to new players, but I would put all of them in extremely easy. Just like... It, they, <laughs> the, to, the, they give you three three HP, and they fine tune it around the items that you have. I find it to be not too bad. This boss, however, though, I find kind of a stinker. This is the Marines past one. He's kind of a stinker. I don't like him very much. Uh, probably the boss from the past that's given me the hardest time. This boss I'd consider to be extremely easy, though. Like. Maybe harder than beating there. There, let's throw some divergence in the first floor bosses. There, uh, you know, he's pretty darn easy. Like I found, I found him to be the easiest of the pasts for me, personally. And the fact of the matter is, if you're a new player, the convict has the passive uh, where you get the extra damage when you get hit. And like I said, it's kind of finely tuned around your items. So if you get hit and you keep on, like as long as you're aiming at the boss, you are probably just going to win. And the more I talk, the more I say that, yeah. Uh, if you're aiming at the boss, you will probably just win. Robots passed. Uh, really, like, not not too bad. I'd say it's maybe easier easier than this sucker. This, or, sorry, uh, this sucker. It's, she's okay. She's fine. Wolf, what, 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 not Wolfenstein. Gosh dang, it's the Hunter's Past. Uh, also harder than this one, too, but probably... Honestly, no, because the, the robot's really good. <laughs> but, like, doing this, you know which character you're playing as, too, so that's something. Uh, Pilot's Past, I find to be pretty darn easy. Sure. And then I really want to just put Blockner right in here just to... Uh, just to, just to have it all be flat, you know? Sure. I think that he d does belong here. I don't have very many times where I've fought against Blockner in his normal form because it is slightly different than him in mini-boss form. So, I would say... Heck. I do think he's... Like... He's easy, but I guess, like, you, you fight him once, it's really, it's really hard to rank him because of that. So I'm kind of just like thinking of ranking him as a mini boss. When in that is a mini boss, he's there. But like, I'm just gonna put him right there because I don't, I don't really know. I fought him like twi I fought him twice in my Gungeon career in his normal form, and I don't remember him being very hard. So I'll just put him at the bottom of the easy tier. But anyway, that is actually gonna do it for today. It's a much quicker list here. It's a nice little 22 minute sit down talking about them. Uh, yeah, just let's go over it again. Once again, if if the Advanced Dragon was on here, I would put the Advanced Dragon at the most stinkiest. He's got a lot of RNG. I mean, like, obviously, uh, every boss has some RNG in their bullet pr bullet pattern. But his projectiles have a lot more spread, a lot more chances to go haywire. Differences in, uh, in bullet speed. Just an all-around, like... And, like, if anyone's looking at this, they're like, Oh, yeah, well, none of these are hard. It's like, okay, well, I'm ranking them against each other. I find the Advanced Dragon is one of the few bosses in the game. No, the only, nay, the only boss in the game where I don't really want to fight them because I don't like the level of difficulty. But to be honest, the reason I don't like, I don't, I don't love the way that the Advanced Dragon fight pans out. Feels a little, a little like, let's just throw everything out and hope that. The t this attack and the next attack go together in a way that makes sense and uh, some of the times it doesn't happen and that's something that happens kind of like on the second phase of the lich Rare rarely but possibly on the third phase of the lich as well where two two attacks that are that can go back to back don't seem like they're intended to be able to go back to back in kind of a haphazard way and the whole entire advanced drag on fight feels that way to me so like it happens a lot like a lot in the second phase here sometimes in the third phase um but yeah lich really not too bad you get to fight him every time um i mean you know like you have a lot of hp you don't have to worry about perfect thing but if the goal is to perfect i say he's probably the hardest he's three phases yes you, but the thing is you have a lot of equipment at this point and that's so, sort of what to why you're gonna see these two so far down you have a lot of equipment they're pretty darn easy fights 
uh, where the heck is the, the holster? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty darn pleased with this. I think that it's generally right. Uh, my opinions might change over time, of course, and it's all, you know, it's all subjective anyways, but let me know. Uh, this is made by... I don't know. Somebody on... Uh, <laughs> somebody on this tier maker website but thank you to them i will put a link in the description if you want to make it yourself but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'm going to be starting my enter the gungeon mod the gungeon series very very shortly here you can check out my other tier lists i did the ranking every gun ranking every item and i'm going to be doing a ranking every character another really quick one to round things out here so subscribe. I put out videos on videos, on, <laughs> videos on videos. I mean, I do. I put out videos on videos on videos on roguelikes and more every single day, especially a lot on Gungeon Exit or Enter otherwise. But thank you for watching. Extra special thank you to Dhex, Throbo, Nadelwick, Justice Tom, the Shogun Gun, more than awesome, and Semi Colon P for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. If you want to support the channel, there's a link in the description. You can help me do this as a full time job if you really would like to feel. Uh, good about doing so. <laughs> thank you, thank you. See you next time.